Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said continue to seek me to reveal your relationship with me. We have to make sure that we're seeking God so we can rebuild the things that God wants us to rebuild on. It's very important that we continue to pray, that we seek, and that we put God first. The Bible verse that I want to read to you is Deuteronomy 6 and 18, and it reads, Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight, so all will go well with you. You want to make sure that you're doing God's will all the way. If you backsliding, you need to repent and turn away and ask God to help you to change your ways and make sure that you are doing things in the will of God. Make sure that you are walking in obedience and make sure that you are following God's will. If you're not, repent and turn away. God needs you to get yourself together. God is saying to everyone that is watching me, he's saying, seek me to rebuild your relationship with me. God wants you to rebuild your relationship. God is giving you an opportunity to change your ways. God is giving you an opportunity to walk in obedience. He is giving you an opportunity to change. And it starts with you right now. You have the chance to change. You have the chance to do everything that God is asking you to do. So please get yourself together. Ask God to help you and he will change your ways. So I just want to say to you, continue to walk in God. Continue to do everything that God is asking you to do. Continue to do what is right and God will bless you. Start doing things well in the will of the Lord and God will take care of the rest. And I want to say to you, make sure that you are praying. Some of you, you wake up, the first thing you do is watch TV. You, you know, doing things that you shouldn't be doing. And you want to make sure you're repenting. Make sure you have a clean life with the Lord and make sure you are doing his will. If you're not, you need to repent. Turn away from evil ways. Turn away from wrongdoing. And tell those wrongdoing, I can't do this anymore. I got to change my life. I, got, I can't keep doing this. I got to do what is God will. You know, you got to start walking in obedience. How can you go to church and you still live in a lifestyle in the darkness? You got to continue to seek God and ask God to change your ways. God can't change you if you're not going to admit who you really are. You know, some of us, we hide them with a mask on our face. We hide them with a ball. We hide them with different things around us. But we need to just be honest and say, Lord, free me, deliver me from these sins that I'm doing. You know, whatever your sin that you have did, give it to God and say, Lord, I repent. And God wants you to do whatever you need to do. Make sure you are walking in obedience. Make sure that you are turning your life to the Lord because God wants the best for you. And it's time for you to really, really start seeking the Lord because God wants you to do the best that you can each and every day. Just start praying, fasting, seeking God and just saying, Lord, I need you more than anything because God wants your heart and he wants you to turn back to him. Some of you have turned your back against God and God is saying, turn back to me. I forgive you. I'm here to wash away everything that you have done. And God is saying, seek me to rebuild your relationship with me. I have forgiven you. I know what you did and I accept your apology. And it's time for you to move forward within me. So just Pay attention to God's will. He have you. So don't give up. Pray about all things. I love you all. Have a great, beautiful day. God bless you. Keep your head up and be strong. You will make it through. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a great, marvelous day. Stay blessed.